I want to just say it. I love making films in New York. This is so cool. It wasn't nearly as brown in here as when I was growing up. There's something that we do all have in common, which is this country called India. filmmaking is coming to New York is that there are a lot of Indians here. Indians are born storytellers and their stories are about their families and about their struggles and uh, what it was like to come here and what it's like to be an Indian. I should work. Work? But you're so new here, Hava. I want to help, Ma. Cinema is a very powerful medium. And we grew up on it. Being a New Yorker, I mean, we... When I grew up in Queens, they used to rent out uh, the public school and show films. It was the first connection, social activity that the, the community had here. Smoke. Bollywood movies are really important in the diaspora because they connect people back to a homeland, real or imagined. Actually, the film in India dealt with more of a fantasy. Whenever we went to the movie theater, it took us into a fantasy land, totally separate away from the reality which happened on the street. And that was part of the reason everybody enjoyed that, like to be totally alienated from the reality. But I think over here, I like that, that the movies dealt with reality and sometimes sadness, sometimes sorrow. And I think they were more in depth. Now in the Indian independent cinema, they're more down to earth stories. They're more stories about family, first generation, second generation. They're more culture clash stories. So we see a lot more of us in front of a camera and behind camera. And we see, see, see a very specific kind of cinema which says, look, this is the mic, this is the community, and this is what's happening to, to it. All I want is a good job. You have no respect for elders. To work to one's best abilities is the American dream. And to be grateful is the Indian tradition. Yes. Stories are basically about the conflict of two cultures. We are always trying to find an anchor where we can call it home. Because you grow up in one culture, then you choose to live in another culture. So emotional conflicts are bound to happen. We can make a family together. I can't. I can't, Justin. I can't ruin the lives of my parents. Identity-based films are, are, are part of our story. We, we are struggling with our identities, uh, some of us more than others. But, um, you know, that, that is the common theme uh, for these movies. But I think uh, the movies that we're going to see now on are going to go deeper into deeper stories. You buried your past, Raj? Well, your past is standing right there to bury everything you and I ever dreamt of. I think Indian American filmmaking in New York has come a long way. I think I've been part of some of the films that, that would be, have been impossible to do 10 years ago because we have a pool of talent, finally. Uh, second generation talent to tell second generation versus first generation stories. I think um, there are a lot of topics that are going on. Um, you know, women, uh, lesbianism, um, gays. I mean, I think that's really important topic, which I think now Indians are ready to sort of open up to and, and sort of um, be, you know, uh, okay, this is actually happening and they're okay with it. I mean, they'll be okay with it seeing it on the screen, but if it happened in their family, it still wouldn't be okay. Why do you make your life so much harder, huh? I want you to be happy, like Surya. Not getting married, Mom. Forget it. I want grandchildren. Are you too selfish to give me that? Mom, I'm a lesbian. I'm not sterile. Shh. New York has its true melting pot. You come over here, you blend in. You don't even feel like an outsider. You feel like everybody over here came in to make New York what it is. And then by coming here, from India or from anywhere else in America, you're not just exposed to all that New York has to offer, but you're also exposed to what the other newcomers to New York have to offer. And that blending is what's so fascinating. I think the time has come now. We all want to be part of this whole American movement of making good films. So where all cultures are making films together. So we do become the part of the landscape of American filmmaking. I think it's time for Indians to, you know, make their mark. I certainly think it, this is a wonderful time to be Indian American here and feel that you're part of American society in a way that you may not have felt 10, 15 years ago. You are being noticed 
and you're having a say in what's going on around you. And sort of, you know, be part of the American dream. You know, be part of, like, American culture that this is also one sect that, like, is important to know about and to be a part of. Oh.